Hi, everybody. Welcome back for math. Um, I am going to go through topic three, lesson four with you today. Our lesson today is about adding using compensation. Compensation is a fancy way of saying helping. And here we're going to help numbers become closer to their nearest 10, which we've talked about. It's easier to add numbers when one of them has a zero in the one's place. So like 10 plus something or 40 plus something. Those are easier to add than 47 or 13. Let's look at our first problem. It says 27 plus 16 equals blank. Draw counters on the 10 frames to show each add-end. Our add-ends are the numbers we're adding, 27, 16. Then show how you can move some of the counters to make it easier to find the sum and explain your work. Well, 27 is going to be two full tens frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here's our twenty-seven over here and our sixteen over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, I am going to cover up not this. Well, yeah, let's do all of it. Our full tens frames are equal to ten. I'm going to give them each a ten. And in our 10 frames that are not full, I'm going to cover each spot with a ones block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. We can move ones to make 10. We can either move some here over to 16 or we can move some from 16 over here to 27. I'm just going to choose to to go ahead and make this a 10 because it only needs three more. So I'm going to take this one and this one and this one. Now when we're adding, we're just trying to figure out what's on this whole pile. It doesn't really matter if these are over here or if we have some up here. It doesn't really matter where they are. So that's going to say, that's going to tell us that we can move these over here. It's not changing. We're not putting more in. We're not taking any out. We're not changing the number. We're just moving things around. So now we have a full 10. That's using compensation. We've compensated. We've helped ourselves. I'm even going to do it. If this is okay with you guys, can I trade these 10 for a stick of 10? Is that equal? I think it is equal, and if you're not sure, I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, that's the same. So I'm going to scoot those 10 ones away and put that 10 here. So now we have this side is 30. This side is 10, 11, 12, 13. We can add that a little bit easier. So now we have four tens and three ones. So 27 plus 16 is equal to 43. All right. If we're going to do it with just our pencil, I can show that I'm going to move this one here. And I'm going to move this one here. And I can move this one here. And then I'm going to just erase those three so I don't count them two times. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay, that's how I do it. Get your pencil. All right, let's go on. All right, for 18 plus 15. 
says there are many ways to use compensation, which is just helping, to make numbers that are easier to add. So for 18 plus 15, let's see what they did. One way is to take 2 from 15, we're taking these two, and giving them to the 18 to make 20. Yeah, so if those two got moved over here, then this is 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. If you want to check it, you can say we added 2 over here and we took them away from the 15. So this balances itself out. So 20 plus 13 is equal to 20 plus 10 plus 3 equals 33. And she's reminding you if you give some to one add end, you have to take them away from the other one so that we always are talking about the same amounts. Let's keep talking about it. 19 plus 26 plus something. Okay. Explain how you can change the add-ins to make them easier to add. We can change this. What's 19 super close to? Super close to 20, right? 20, we're trying to get to those easy numbers to add. Could we take, I'm going to copy it down over here. Could we take one away from this 26 and put it on the 19? Move one from here and put it over here? Sure. I'm going to do it the way they did it up here. Take one away from 26 and add one to 19. So 19 turns into 20. If we take one away from 26, what are we left with? 25. Just count backwards one plus something. I don't, I, I really think this was supposed to be an equal sign. Let's see what the answer is. 20 plus 25 equals the box. 20 plus 25. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. All right. I wish you guys could have seen that. It's so cool. Miss Dennis just got a bunch of the germs out of our classroom. All right, let's do our guided practice now. 17 plus nine. Now I like to usually work with this big number, the greater number, but is there an easy way to make this nine into something else? There is, but we're gonna work with a big number. All right, 17 is three away from 20. So we're gonna add three over here. So we gotta do what to this nine? Take three away. All right, minus three. If we're going to add three over here, those three have to come from somewhere. So that's going to equal 20 on this side. And over here, we're only going to have six left. We've got to know those facts. Nine minus three equals six. We have to know that. And then 20 plus six, well, guys, that's super easy. That's 26. Okay. I'm going to do number two with you also. What do you want to get 16 close to? Okay, 16 is close to 20. Okay, how many more do we need if we have 16 and we want to get to 20? There's 16. We need 17, 18, 19, 20. It needs four more. So we have to give it four more and it will make 20. So what do we need to do over here? If we added four on this side, we have to take four away on this side. If we have 14, this is 14 and we take four away. One, two, three, four. All we have left is 10. So the answer is 30. 
wasn't filling in the little dots. Let's do that really fast. I was using my base 10 blocks because that's what I have in front of me. There's 16. And here's 14. And we just took these four and moved them over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we have 20 plus 10 equals 30. All right, you think you can do this? I know you can. It says use compensation to make numbers that are easier to add, then solve, show your work. All right, so 33 plus 19. Which one of those numbers is going to be easy to get to something that's really close by? 19 is only one away from 20, right? Can you turn this one into 20? Okay. Number four, 28 plus eight. Which one of those are you going to turn into an easier number? You could do either one of them. If you do 28, that's close to 30. Good. What's eight close to? Close to 10. Awesome. All right. For number five, 27 plus 36. Which number do you want to change? 27 is closer to 30. It's closer than 36 is to 40, but you can choose. So either take 27 to 30 or take 36 to 40. Okay. All right. Got these lines. I know you guys don't like always to have words with your math, but you can do this. Explain how you can use compensation. It's going to be our $10 word for helping to make numbers that are easy to add. Solve and show your work. Okay. So basically you're going to do what you did up here. You're just going to have to tell why you did it. You can do that. All right. Higher order thinking. Crank your brain up. Show two different ways you could use compensation to make the numbers that are easy to add. Solve and show your work. So I'm just going to put a line down the middle because you're going to have to do it twice. And it's only one problem. So 17 plus 26, what's 17 closer to? 20. So one of these you're going to have to take 17 and make it into 20. And one of them you're going to have to take the 26 and use compensation to make it, what's 26 closer to? Right, 30. Sorry, my mouth is really dry, guys. So can you finish those problems? You have to figure out what did you do to go from 17 to 20. You added how many? And then you have to subtract that over here. When you go from 26 to 30, how many did you have to add? Whatever you added, you have to subtract it on the other side, on the other add end. All right. I can't wait to see what kind of things you guys come up with. We're going to still use compensation to make numbers that are easier to add. Helping. We're going to help ourselves. Then solve and show your work. If you don't show your work, I'm going to think that your mom did it or you did it with a calculator. So you better show that work. Number eight, Bella said there is only one way to rewrite this problem to make the numbers easier to add. Is she correct? Explain and then solve. Number nine, show two different ways to use compensation to find the sum then solve. So number nine is very similar to number seven. Number 10 shows two different ways to use compensation. Uh, that's just like number nine. 
It's like they couldn't think of another question to ask you guys. They asked it a bunch of times. But this one does have an extra add-in. Hmm. It's a little wrench in the plan. But you got this. Number 11, which is equal to 48, 42 plus 18? You could use compensation to solve this one and make it super easy. Choose all that apply. All right, kiddos. Go ahead and get started. Raise your hand or send your teacher an email if you have any questions. All right, bye.